In this video, we're going to be looking at some effective ways to eliminate your pile of shame. Any good hobbyist would know that you always want to take on more models than you can handle. But the problem is that a lot of these remain unpainted in our shelves or even unassembled in the box that they came in. I'm going to be covering three different areas in improving your painting workflow, which include motivation, technique, and time. Let's start with the first one, motivation. What the cook it down? Now! Motivation is fleeting. You feel inspired one day and you're just like, yeah, I'm going to start this army. And then you assemble those models, you start painting them, and then you get through a few, and then it disappears. It's just like, where did it go? It happened to me when I first got my 3D printer and I was printing my Tyranids. I started off and like, it was great. I did the first color across the whole army and that, that, that almost killed me. And then I hadn't touched them since like a month ago. Where I've started them again. Like it's just, yeah, funny how it does that. Make it a habit. If you're someone who's painting sporadically or irregularly, then we want to look at making painting minis a habit. That might sound weird, but it's like this, it's a good habit in a sense, if you're a hobbyist that you want to develop, you want to be someone who paints minis. One of the books that everyone reads when they hit their thirties and they're like, you know, trying to focus on self-improvement or so I'm told is Atomic Habits. One of the things that really stood out to me was just doing something small each day, working towards your goal of what you want to be. So if you want to paint more minis, then sit down and put paint on a brush every day. It, it sounds really silly, but some days you might put paint on that brush and then you don't paint anything. Other times you might put some paint on a brush and then paint for a couple of minutes, but then you'll find sometimes you'll sit down and keep painting and that one minute or whatever will turn into 20 or 30 and you get into a groove. And so the idea is you just want to get into the habit of just putting some paint on a brush and eventually that will build into a habit if you're doing it every day and will lead to more painting. Make it easy. Some of us might be fortunate enough to have a dedicated hobby space. The rest of us might have to kind of set up and pack away and that can be quite hard. Like if you know you're going to have to spend 10, 15, 20 minutes setting up for a painting session, I don't know, it can be quite off-putting. You should be off-putting. And so one of the things that we can do to make painting easier is to remove the resistance in starting to paint. Now I'm a mad culprit for not cleaning up my workstation after I've painted. Like I'm just looking at it now, it's atrocious. That's one of the things that um, is quite helpful is when we finish a hobby session, cleaning it up and setting it up ready for the next one. If you don't have a dedicated space, it might be getting some sort of movable tray or something where you can just pull it out from a drawer or from a shelf and everything's there ready to go. Between walking into that room and sitting down to paint, we wanna minimize how much time and effort that takes. Make it manageable. We wanna have realistic expectations and it's something that I've noticed even just now in the last day or so scrolling Instagram, the suggested posts I'm getting and then just the mini painters that I follow, like they paint really well. Like they're painting some really good stuff and I think the hard part is for many of us browsing social media that we're seeing everyone's highlight reel. We're seeing the best of the best. We're seeing it where they've optimized it and edited it, adjusted the lighting and all that stuff. And then we compare that to our own models and we're like, oh, that's not as good. Like I'm not gonna be as good. Whereas we're comparing like kind of our okay to people's like competition, golden demon standard. And so we wanna have realistic expectations on the quality, but we also wanna have realistic expectations on our output. Now I'm, a, I'm guilty of binge watching like the 48 hour start collecting box challenge or like painting an army in a week and stuff like that where it's really cool to see people their army come together and get painted and all that really quickly but like if you're like me you've got a day job you have other responsibilities in life we can't just give up a weekend to paint a whole army the way we're gonna get through our projects is slowly chipping away at it like model by model and so we need to have realistic expectations that it's okay if we don't get much painted in a week so when we have realistic expectations we're not let down when we're not painting as much because we know that that's what we can output. Make it fun, you know, mix it up. If you're working through, like I was saying, my Tyranid army, but you're getting bored of it, like paint something else. Look, a palette cleanser, if you will. Like paint something different um, just to like mix it up, have fun, reward yourself, make it fun. One of the things that I do is when I'm painting, I have the Mandalorian going on in the background and that's my reward. I only watch The Mandalorian when I paint. And so maybe do something like that, that you only do something like you listen to your favorite podcast or you watch your YouTube videos or whatever, like while you're painting so that it's like, I wanna paint so that I can do the fun thing, like make it fun. This is the last one for motivation and that is game more. Now, as much as I enjoy the hobby 
gaming is one of the things that I enjoy as well. And when you have a bunch of unpainted minis, kind of not embarrassing, but it, yeah, it's not as fun. When you game, you get to show off what you've done. And so playing more games can motivate you to get your models painted. I remember I was having a game, oh, this is maybe February, March, like that night before the game, I was painting the last 10 models. It was like five, they're called Storm Boys, the Orcs with the Rockets, and then like finishing off some knobs for like my knob squad. Like it was just, yeah, there was motivation to paint more. And then when you play more, you're like, oh, I could try this squad or I could finish that other army so that I can bring them next time. Like gaming more can help you stay motivated. Oh no, I lied. There's the last one. The last one is join hobby groups. Now, just as like iron sharpens iron, hobbyists sharpen or motivate other hobbyists. Find a group, find, I don't know, Facebook groups, local gaming groups, like like a friendly local game store, is that what they're called? I have a couple of mates, like we jump on Zoom every so often and have like a painting session and just chat about our hobby and stuff like that. Like find groups like that that can motivate you. Techniques. The first one with techniques is lower your standards. Depending on what you're painting, if you're painting for a, like, I don't know, a painting competition and stuff, yeah, spend a lot of time on it. But if you're painting up an army to game, like it doesn't need to be perfect, but it's like, who else is gonna notice this mistake? Is it just gonna be me? Like have a look at it from like three foot away when it's down on the table or when it's all with your squads, cause like, it's not gonna really matter. Like if, if no one's gonna see it at the table, but yeah, work out your standard that you're happy with, that you're happy with the time and then go from there. And speaking of lowering your standards, this week's sponsor is me. So I've started a Patreon, not that anyone's asked for it, but it's a little way that you can help support the channel. The link's in the description. The first tier is $2 Australian, which is what, like 50 cents American or something ridiculous. No, I'm kidding. Like they just extended blog posts where I write a bit about what I'm doing currently. And if there's any like painting that I'm doing, I'll put like the, the paints that I use and what a segue. It doesn't matter. Not that the, the Patreon matters, no pressure anyway, but it doesn't really matter. And I've already talked a bit about the mistakes, but some things like just don't matter. Are people going to see that little belt pouch on the side of your character that's blended in with another 10 orcs like are they going to see the underside of your model are they going to see the little like button out of the 10 buttons on like a little computer console and stuff you want to pick out details that are going to make the model pop but when you're painting a whole army you just don't have time to give every detail the attention it deserves and so just the more you paint the more you'll realize and work out what matters and what doesn't practice and yeah here we are talking about you missing practice you understand me practice the more you paint the better you get at it one of the things you'll get better is your skill will get better in painting but your speed will also improve. And so the more that you paint, the more that you practice, the faster that you'll actually get and the better that you'll get, you'll improve your time and how to get the same results. So practice, 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 you'll get more efficient. Use techniques that save time. And so you wanna find techniques that can save time using contrast, speed paint, or any of those kind of translucent one layer paints. If you have the space and the money for it, like an airbrush can make base coating, particularly large objects uh, and vehicles, like really quick rather than having to do it by a brush. You can just kind of spray through one color and get that done in such a shorter amount of time. Uh, another thing is using base ready products. So a lot of the time I'm using, not that I'm sponsored by Geek Gaming Cynix, but um, I'm using a lot of their kind of basing material because it's literally just PVA glue, the basing material, and then a thin layer of PVA glue to kind of set it and that's done using grass tar. So I'm trying these laser cut it prints from Gamers Grass, but I'm not kind of sold on them at this point. It's one of those things where it's like, you spend a bit of extra money on those like materials, but it saves you a bit of time. And for me, I'm in that position where I'd rather save time than save a bit of money. Managing your schedule better. You just need to look at your schedule and be like, if this is important, if I want to paint things and get my army done, is there stuff in my life that I can remove or do better or do differently? One of the things that I found really, I just sound old saying this, but like really helpful for time is meal prepping. But like just even saving meals where it's like you spend a couple of hours cooking your lunches or dinners. It just means like come that night, you just kind of, you're ready to eat. And then the, the 20 or 30 minutes that you would have spent cooking dinner or an hour, like you could spend even just half of that time painting. And that leads to the next point, which is cut out the fat. And this is basically just the excess, the, the stuff that's not good, which is majority like social media or Netflix or like just like kind of the online streaming services or TV, cut it out. There's a good chance if you're watching this video, you're procrastinating from doing something that you need to do. 
And so don't cut out me from your binge watching or whatever. Have me going on in the background as you're painting. Seriously, I need the watch time. You know, it, it's crazy the average time people spend on social media and watching TV. So if, if that's a few hours for you, which it is for me, which is horrible to say out loud and the realization of that like makes me really depressed. But what if you cut half an hour of that social media time and painted instead. Hopefully these tips have been helpful. Let me know in the comments below what helps you get motivated to painting or like some time saving hacks or anything like that. If you want to watch another hobby related video, you can click over here. Thank you for watching and happy hobbying.